We represent the Ancient of Days. We represent the Ancient of Days, the Eternal God, the Everlasting God, Yahweh. I am. I am, just like Moses. It's like Moses found out his name. And he said, you're going to go represent me. Who are you? I am. Now you're going to go to Pharaoh and you say, I represent I am. That's what we're saying to the principalities and powers, the rulers of the darkness of this earth, the rulers of the darkness of America. We say, we're going to them and we're saying, let the people go. You are going to let the people go. You are going to lose. You are going to lose. You're going to give up the masses. You're going to give up the youth. You're going to give up the teenagers. You're going to give them up. You can't have them. We're telling him, you can't have them. You can't have the babies. You can't have the kids' bodies. It's okay to get angry. I'm angry. It's okay to get angry. Jesus got angry. I'm not angry at the people, I'm angry at the demons. I'm angry at some of the people when they're controlled by demons, but not enough to hurt them. I love them. I'd lead them to Jesus today if I could. Might slap them once or twice first, but I get them there. <laughs> Let me just rephrase that. No, not, not what I just said there, but the angry part. When I said it's okay to be angry. Let me just rephrase that. You must become angry. You must allow righteous indignation yes. to penetrate the deep part of who you are. You must do so until you look at that TV screen when you hear some of this nonsense and allow something to rise up. If there's not something in here that rises up in you and says, no, yes. then you're not carrying what you need to carry yet. You must become angry. You must rise up inside and be who God has called you to be. You are not a misfit in debt, bitter of soul. You are a mighty man and woman of valor. You just got to be crazy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Berserker, you got to just be. Where's that lion, that pit? Let me in there. Yeah. We carry the gifts of God inside of us. We literally carry the third person of the Godhead in us all the time. And his gifts are there. Every one of you can prophesy. I can't prophesy. Yes, you can. How do I know? Because the Bible says you can. All can prophesy. Just because you have it doesn't mean you can't. Holy Spirit is in you. Prophecy is in you. Words of knowledge are in us. Gifts of faith is in us. Working of miracles is in us. We're about to be unleashed again on a generation of the earth. <clears throat> and we're going to represent God to the masses and to the one. Because we're going to release Holy Spirit power and gifts from us. 
We're going to prophesy on the streets. We're going to heal people on street corners. We're going to brush up against people in supermarkets. They're going to fall under the power of God and get up saved, healed, delivered. Because they touched an anointed one. You're going to shake a hand and somebody's going to get set free. Why? Because you're a carrier of the gifts of Holy Spirit inside of you, whether you know it or not. I don't care if you've never operated in it, the gift of faith is in you. Workings of miracles is in you. Discernings of spirits is in you. We we need we 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 need to get this. If you come here to find out what God's doing. We don't have this figured out yet. You need to come in here and tell us what God's been doing. Because where he's going with this thing, there are going to be more people saved out there and healed out there and set free out there. And we're going to be disciple them in here. We're going to become family in here. And we're going to mature them in here. We're going to meet Jesus together in here. And we're going to eat the Lord's table in here. And then we're going to send them out. And they're going to do what we did to them, to others. And we're going to start multiplying, 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 multiplying. Because the wind of God is going to blow right into the cave. Right into the cave. Right into the dungeon of D.C. But it's coming through you. You know, when the guy or the lady prophesies the wind of God is about to blow on America, do you know where that wind is coming from? You. You're the carrier of the breath now. You're going to find yourself talking to somebody that says, I want, I'm going to take my life. I'm done with this. Something's going to rise up in you. I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a gift of faith. Something's going to rise up in you and say, lay your hand on them and cast that spirit of suicide out of them right now and lead them to Jesus. And if you listen to the Holy Spirit of God in you, you'll set them free, change their life, and put them on a new path because that's who you are. Whether you know it or not, that is who you are. 